Hey guys, Maxico back with another video for you guys, and today I am going to be making a video on uh, tips and tricks, so that's what this video is going to be about. Just a quick heads up, uh, I am making this video right now and uploading it as quickly as I can because I will not be doing a live stream today, guys. I apologize. I am going to be busy at that time that I usually stream, so my apologies. I told you guys I've been very busy, but this once this, hopefully this week or next week, I'll be done with work. Not like completely done, but with the stuff that we have, it's just a hassle. And after that, I will be a little bit more active. But right now, yeah, I'm just going to make this video for you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a while because I don't think I've really seen too many out there. And so I wanted to make this for you guys to help anybody out there. Um, just a heads up really quick before I start this. Some of the tricks that I'm going to be teaching you guys can only be done by late game players and what i mean by that is you have to have like shadow forged armors well not even necessarily shadow forged you need to have ring and amulets that have hp or you need to have a pet that has leech strike those are the two conditions i'm going to be teaching right now and then uh the tips practically are just going to be able to be done by anyone but the two tricks that i want to teach that have helped me a lot because heroic's about to come out it's going to help you if you guys are able to do it it helps me a lot so hopefully you guys will be able to do this but yeah, so really quick, um, first off, let's start this tip right here. Not really a trick for, you know, I, I would say it's a trick, but not really because everybody should know how to do this. But it's more of a tip for the low-level players. Anybody can do it. They can take advantage of it. But it's mainly a tip for the low-level level players. See, my level is, oh, I didn't mean to click something. So my level is uh, 529 currently. So I've been leveling up a lot because of Heroic. I used to be, what, like 200-something when I first started this channel. I talked about it in my last video. but Or I talked about it in the raid I was trying to. I don't know if I got cut out. But either way, I've leveled up almost like 400 levels since I started YouTube. And it's been three months. That's how much I've leveled up in three months, about 400 levels. Don't know if that's quick or not, but that seems pretty quick to me considering I've been playing for like four years on this account and I only got to 200 and then in three months I went double that so yeah either way tip number one for all you beginners out there if you want I, I could probably make a add this in later but there is or make a different part of it in one of my other videos uh when you're low level you can kind of farm the arena at the cost of gems so as you can tell oh not my guild if you go here you look at the win streak the higher win streak you get, the better you get. So you can get epic, or not even epic armors, legendary armors. And those are okay. You can fuse them together and get uh, epics and then fuse those epics and end up getting a uh, dragon forged if you're lucky. But yeah, so when you're low level, you're going to be fighting other low levels. When you're below like level 15, I believe it is, you're only going to be fighting AIs. You're not even going to be fighting other PvP. And if you do, it's going to be people that have like one night. That's it. So you can farm this, spend gems, get the 40 wins, and just go crazy and get what you want. If you really want to, you can spend the gems like crazy. Get the Dragon Forge armors in here. Get other get the pieces. Or even try to push T1 and get, you know, that Dragon Forge. But the armors aren't that great. So I, great, I wouldn't recommend it. But that's up to you. But that's something there. But So my tip is, when you're a low level, if you're not going to do that, you're not going to farm the arena. There's no point of staying a low level. Okay, my apologies, guys. My dad was calling me. Uh, I had to stop the recording really quick. But, uh, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, for you beginners, my tip is try to get to level 100 as quickly as you can just for the reason that um, if you're not farming the arena, like I said, 100 is where you get to an even playing field with everybody else. In the arena, it's not going to be easy. I will admit that. If you just rush to 100, if you try to fight in the arena, you're going to lose very badly. But... When you do raids, when you do wars and stuff like that, you're going to be on an even playing field with anybody else. There are going to be other people that have rush. So for wars, you will end up finding somebody that you can fight. Don't worry about that. And raids, you're going to have the max HP that you can have. Once you hit level 100, your HP is the same. Doesn't matter. Like me right now, if I unequip this, if I this armor right here, that HP that I have, that's 600, that's the max HP your main knight can get. So you're going to have the same exact HP as me. Um, attack and defense that varies off your armor obviously but same exact HP and so after you hit max HP for all your knights you just need to work on getting better attack and defense dance so my tip for the beginners is level to 100 as quickly as you can now the trick to help you guys with that it's not really a trick like I said this is just you know whatever you guys can go here go to epic stage oh not relic runes uh, go to the epic stage on kingdom of darkness or dark prince yeah kingdom of darkness 
farm it over and over when you're low level it's going to be a little difficult because you're going to probably need to use three knights but you will get it and if you're below level 50 if you can clear it you will level up i'm pretty sure about that i did it on my third account before and i was leveling up quick if you can't do that go to haunted citadel do epic same thing you will be leveling up as long as you clear it as time progresses you will be getting stronger and you will be able to do it with less and less knights and then you will level up more but obviously being once you hit level 100 you are on an even playing field with everybody else it's going to take more xp to level up and so you're going to be needing to be able to fight with one knight like clear it like four times and it's not that hard honestly but yeah just work on your armor so that's tip number one for beginners and obviously if you want to call it a trick how to help you guys level up faster like i said it can be used with higher level players as well use that leveling up trick just farm a place level up and you're good right there you can farm a different stage that kind of jumps in with another trick so if you guys are like having struggle clearing the stage let's say you're doing the heroic on here you get halfway through the stage or three quarters of the way to the stage and then all your knights die even with your friends you're like why can't i do this you have to wait for everybody to heal up again do it again instead of waiting for yourself to heal up go to one of these stages with the three knights that you aren't going to use because use uh sorry you're not going to use because obviously you're going to use three knights and two friends the other three knights if they're full hp go over here farm the epic go over here farm the epic get to a point where you're really close to leveling up so you, um, as you can see right there um my xp is close you want to be closer than that not too close though because then you're going to level up very fast but you want it to where you level up about midway through the stage or if you can do it very precisely a little bit past it to where like one night you're left with one night he's about to die and then you level up but it takes time to get used to it so if anything i'd recommend getting a little closer try to do it where you know you have two knights or three knights that just died you have your two friends or one friend however many you need then you level up and then you fight again so instead of waiting for your knights to heal just level up do it that's why i've been leveling up so much but it helps a lot guys honestly to clear the stages much quicker so if you're having trouble getting through heroic and it's mainly because you have to wait for your knights to heal use that trick it takes a little bit of time just to you know get your xp up but it's a lot quicker than having to wait for your knights to heal that's the tip that i'm giving you guys right now so use that that's how i got through heroic so quickly um another trick is this one right here requires that you have a pet with leech strike so you have the tier 4 earth pet uh right here this guy and you have leech strike take advantage of that this is not really like a glitch but most people i don't think realize it what you want to do is uh let's say i'll just take whatever knight i'll take this person get them you know hurt but yeah okay so what you're gonna want to do is after you've taken so much damage and you know you want to uh heal up but you don't want to waste potions instead of waiting wasting the potions you can heal fairly quickly but it's just going to take a little bit of time. That's it. Not long. It'll probably take you like a minute or two as opposed to, you know, clicking in three seconds and fully healing your knight. But you're not going to be wasting potions. That's the good thing. And I've been using this trick so much since someone taught me it. And so now I'm going to pass it on to you guys. What I like to do is either farm the epic or the valor, depending on what your knight element is. The valor stage is going to have one... Uh, monster that's fire at the start so you see here this guy has spirit i don't really want to farm this stage so instead of doing that i'm going to go to epic and you're not going to actually farm the entire stage don't think about that you want to put your lead strike on have it on enter the stage this is water so just keep in mind fire and water those are the, those two stages i've learned that they have the best lead strike attack like you get the most back so farm those two stages if you have lead strike go in attack once heal leave you saw that if you guys didn't see it pay attention i take eight damage and heal for 25 look at that take eight heal for 25 do that over and over again see i'm at 413 hp right now on that night that's currently healing watch i go in i was at 413 now i was at 413 i'm at 430 now it's a little trick i'm surprised i didn't think about it before it's honestly not that hard but it requires you to have lead strike that's the only thing so if you don't have lead strike i'm sorry guys you're gonna have to wait till you get it but if you do use that it helps so much instead of going and healing you know wasting potions do that it takes like a minute or two that's it your knight's fully healed you can do it for all your knights as long as they have enough enough hp to enter a stage you can do that so take advantage of that that's what i did and that's how that helped me get through the heroic so quickly as well so for like these early stages here if you can do them with three knights like the heroic ones do them with three knights but you're left with like the last knight just wait till your other two knights heal a little go in 
heal them up with the lead strike go back in do the three stages you don't even have to level up don't worry about that the harder stages i would doing the i would recommend doing the level up trick you know uh get close to leveling up go into the stage level up midway through the stage complete the stage that's how i do it but the easy stages i just use the the healing trick the lead strike trick it's just a little trick it's not a glitch or anything i mean they incorporated that you could heal like that obviously into the game so you can see this guy's 433 now go in heal leave Go in, go back in, attack once, leave. You know, he he just constantly keeps healing. That's all you have to do. He's only taking eight damage. When they crit, I think yeah, it's like twelve damage. But you're still healing for more than half of that or double that technically. So you're still healing thirteen HP on a crit. You're healing what um sixteen HP? No, sorry, that's off. Uh, seventeen HP for a regular attack. And you see, my knight's health already going up. He's about to be completely capped off that's all you got to do that's a little trick that i learned it seemed like i can't believe i didn't think about it before someone told me about it and immediately i knew what they were talking about i was like why didn't i think of this before but that's a trick that helps so much and then here's another trick people have talked about it for so long if your knight needs to heal and they have a ring and amulet set or just have an amulet that, or ring that gives them more hp instead of going into the stage and you know wasting a potion for that so like let's say for example this knight would take about six potions if it were at zero HP to heal up. What you do is go in, unequip the ring and amulet that you have that gives extra, extra HP. And look at that, now I only take five potions instead of six. So it's more when you have ring and amulets that you know give you a lot of HP, that's what I'm talking about. So, you know. so that's a little trick a lot of people have talked about it before. It's nothing new, but it helps a lot when you have armors such as this, you know, 1100 HP. Why am I gonna wanna heal for 12 potions where I can only heal for six? Same thing with this one. Why do I want to heal 11 potions where I can heal for 4 or 5? You know, save so many potions. That's why I've been saving up my potions now. Mainly that, that lead strike. So if you guys have a pet, use that. That helps so much. If you don't have a pet, I'm sorry, guys. But it's going to be a little harder. But you can do it, though. Use the level up trick. Don't waste your potions. If you have to use potions, then, of course, go for it. But once you get that lead strike, you know, you are set. Strive for that lead strike, guys. You want it. And then, like I said these two stages here epic or honor those two stages only i i've tried farming other ones and you heal for like 10 hp or 11 these you heal for always 25 in those two but depending on the element you will take less damage obviously like i said uh, honor is fire epic is water so depending on what you counter it or if you don't even take damage go ahead if you don't take damage so like let's say you are uh, mono air you deal more damage to the water but you take no damage from either go to the fire the fire actually heals you more i've learned that because he always deals uh i think it's like six damage whereas this one here always deals eight damage as long as you know you're using like epic armors and above but yeah i've learned that so try to f if you can farm the honor like heal from the honor stage heal from the honor stage if you can't go to the epic stage that's what i've learned and so that being said guys that's kind of it for this video i know it's not a long video but that's something i wanted to make uh if you guys have any other tips and tricks that you guys want to let me know feel free comment it down below and maybe in the future i might make a you know tips and tricks part two because this stuff helps a lot of people don't know these kind of things and it helps a lot when i learned that leech strike trick it helped me so much guys so please like i said comment down below let me know any other tricks that you guys might want to let me know about I will look into it to the game. I will try to do stuff like that, see how much it helps, and then I will make a, if it's enough, I will make a video on it. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. So um, like the video if you guys like it. Subscribe if you guys want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.